Does tying up your cabbage heads help them to form more leads, leaves and a tighter head? That's what we're gonna check out in today's video. Hey there, and welcome to the Gardenery Channel. My name's Nicole Burke, and I am on a mission right now to grow a lot of cabbage. I've been harvesting this Napa cabbage from my garden for the last month, and I am literally obsessed. It's so delicious. So um, if you haven't watched in some of my other videos, I experimented with tying up my cabbage heads this season to see if I could get a tighter head with more leaves. So today we're gonna harvest two different cabbage heads and see if my experiment worked. Now, um, this isn't like a perfectly set up scientific experiment. I know this because my husband is literally a scientist. And for that, you have to have everything the exact same and all the controls except for one variable, right? Well, um, these two cabbages are in two different beds and they probably get a little bit different amount of sunlight. So it's not, you know, exactly perfectly set up, but both cabbages were planted at the same time indoors. They were both planted at the same time into these beds. And at the same time, I chose to leave one untied and to tie another. So it's as close as I can get, okay? So if you're a scientist, give me a little grace. Um, I am gonna harvest my cabbage with a hori hori. This is uh, one of my favorite garden tools. If you haven't seen my video about my favorite garden tools, you can check it out. One of the reasons I love the hori hori is this little serrated edge. So it basically serves multi-purpose. You can use it to dig and to plant, but you can also use it to harvest. The way I like to harvest my cabbages or any kind of lettuce head is just to cut at the root of the plant or at the stem, the base of the plant, rather than uplifting the entire thing. So the way I plant my beds is I have lots of different seasons in here at once. So to completely uproot a plant is gonna disturb a lot of the other roots in the system, in the garden, and um, also kind of disturbs the microbes and all the good stuff that's happening there underground. So I'm gonna take my Hori Hori, and the first cabbage we're going to harvest is gonna be this one, which is, um, which is tied up. You can see the twine around the edge right there. And I'm just gonna take the Hori Hori, slide it under here. Can you, I don't know if you can even see this. There's so much going on. Do you have a view of it? I'm gonna slide it under, and I'm just cutting. You have to put your put your muscle into it, guys. All right. I hear that squeak. I love the squeaky sound. All right, are you ready for this? It's gonna be so gorgeous. Ta-da! How beautiful is that? Now I took a little bit more of the root than I wanted to, but um, looking pretty good. So we're gonna have this one here and then we're going to harvest the other one and see how how they compare so i do have these i don't know like they're falling from my neighbor's tree and they're all in my garden that's not um part of the cabbage all right so there's number one you can see it leaves a little hole here but we've got all these plants that are going to take its place so now the tomato will start to have more room to grow and get more sun i've got some straw flower here some celery, now everything can kind of fill in and keep growing. So the next cabbage we're gonna take from is actually back here behind this trellis. And um, I tried to choose one that looked like it had similar size, similar growth, but as you can see, this one I did not tie. So I'm gonna take my um, Hori Hori and cut again at the base. Just like that, and there you go. All right, so can you tell at this point which one has more leaves? It's gonna be interesting to compare. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, um, can I sit down? Is that okay? All right, so I'm gonna count out the leaves in these different um, plants. So. I'm just gonna kind of count by the layers. So we've got one layer, two layers, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 
13. I'm gonna call that 14 layers, okay? Sound good? 14 layers of leaves. So that is in the non-tied head. And now we're gonna untie this baby. It'll be interesting to note also like the other side effects. Like you can tell that basically suffocated this outside leaf. So these two leaves are kind of a loss, the ones that are tied. All right, so let's see if I can count them similarly. So there's, there's one layer, the outside. Here's two. Here is three. Here's four. Oh, look, it's a lot tighter. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's so tight, it's hard to, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so I think it's pretty even. Now, one interesting note here is look at the difference in the color. So this uh, cabbage actually got more sun than this one, but look at the difference in the color. So we have a much whiter, center for this cabbage and a much greener one for this one. So I have read that, that oftentimes for like endive and greens like that, farmers will tie them to get that really white center because you know these didn't get any sun exposure. So I don't know the full science, um, like the reaction, but I know that like the chlorophyll and everything that needs sunlight, right? So without these leaves having exposure to sun, they didn't green up nearly as much as these did. So I don't know, you guys can tell me in the comments if you think it was worth it to tie it. I would say currently I'm leaning toward not worth it, mostly because I could harvest the outside leaves as this one grew. So I got to enjoy the outside leaves even as the head was forming. So I could come in, cut a few greens, enjoy the outside leaves and let the head keep going. And uh, for me, I honestly like the deep green of the cabbages rather than having it super white or yellow or whatever you call this. Um, either way, I would say both were successful to have 14 layers of leaves um, on these cabbages form in less than 60 days. I say is a win. So um, there you go, that's my cabbage experiment. Tell me in the comments what you would do. Would you tie up your cabbage heads or would you just let them do the thing they wanna do? I think from now on, I'm probably just gonna let mine do what they wanna do because that's kind of the way I like to garden anyway. Thanks so much for watching. You can find out so much more about growing your own salad in my course, Salad Garden School. You can find out more about Salad Garden School at the link below this video. Um, I love growing salad. It's literally my favorite thing in the kitchen garden, and I know you're gonna love it too. Thanks for watching. Bye.